Good morning friends. I hope you're having an amazing day today. Today I'm super excited because I'm going to be doing a plant with me video. I've become kind of a plant mom this past month of being settled into the new place. And today I'm doing something really fun with my friend Shagu. We are going to do a kind of like a plant afternoon. We're going to build terraniums. I think, or uh, a planter, I guess, with crystals and succulents. So yeah, I'm excited to share this adventure with you guys. And then when we get back to my place, I'm going to introduce you to all of my plants. I have named them all because I'm, I'm that person. <laughs> and yeah, I think that I might actually do some planting in my little herb garden out on my terrace. And I thought that would be fun to show you guys as well. So come along and plant with me. So I'm just about to head out. Shagu is downstairs, and so I thought I would show you my outfit for today. Just this plain white shirt that I have partially tucked into these jeans. These jeans are made well, and they're called the Perfect Summer Jean or the Perfect Vintage Jean, something like that. And I'm pairing them with these awesome, like faux snakeskin booties that I got uh, thrifting in San Diego. So I'll leave that video down below if you guys are curious. I go shopping for these jeans in that video as well, so it's pretty good. For jewelry, I am really liking layering this choker that I have with stars with um, like another piece. So today I'm just wearing this Tiffany heart and I have my Daniel Wellington watch in rose gold. And of course, just my, my regular rings. And yeah, this is the look. I'm also going to be wearing this bag, and this is my Patrizia Pepe bag. She is an Italian designer, and this is like my summer purse. So I have kind of a wintry black one, and this one's just fun. It adds a pop of color to my wardrobe, which is pretty plain, but working on adding the pops of color <laughs> in a minimal way, I suppose. So that's the outfit. Let's go. Shagu is here. We have arrived at Yorkshire Arms British Pub. Yorkshire Arms. It's gonna be really fun. Yes. Shagu's done paint nights before, so this is similar. Yes, but this is kind of different because you're using dirt now and you're making a plant, but more likely to stay in your house. My paintings, we have no idea where they are. <laughs> my mom kept them. <laughs> Sorry, it's like, I also don't know how to hold my, yeah, as always. <laughs> Until we add that way raw. Alright guys, there she is, my terranium, and I put my Wi-Fi password <laughs> on this little fence thing there, abundance. Woo! So we are back from an amazing day. It's been so fun. We got to see baby puppies, made our little succulent terranium pot things, and had a really good lunch. Oh, we went to this Italian bakery, so it's just been an all-around good day, and it's time for me to introduce you to my plant. So this is Princess Jasmine. She's a majesty palm, which is why she's Princess Jasmine. Also, she covers up my air con and this kind of like vent electrical thing. And so beside the new terranium, this is Dragon. I called her this because she has like all these dragon leaves. And I actually rescued her from Ikea and she's been thriving here. These are all, these green leaves are all brand new since she's been with me. So I feel like I saved her. Mm -hmm. 
This here is Palm. I got this one from Ikea as well. And this is some organic aloe. This one is actually from Canadian Tire. Manisha and Noah got this one for me. And you can actually cut off these and use them as aloe vera. So if you ever get a sunburn or wanna do a face mask or anything like that, you can use this. So I call that one Ali. This one is called Klaus. I don't know why, I just wanted to name this one Klaus. This is another Ikea one and it's definitely been thriving since I brought it home. This one is Olivia. This is my orchid and my friend Nicole gave this one to me. She's so pretty. And she actually has bloomed a lot since she's been here. She gets a lot of direct sun, so she's happy, happy, happy. I hope she stays that way. Now I'm gonna show you on my terrace. This is what I'm going to do here. So sage, rosemary, dill, basil, and edible pansies. So I wanna put a few of the herbs in here. I don't know if they'll all fit. It's getting a little wilty here, but this is my begonia. My bestimore said that they don't like a lot of sun, so I think maybe she's been getting too much. I'll have to find another place for her, but she sure is pretty, right? Over here we have my lavender and it hasn't bloomed yet but it already smells so good and I have to like pot these but I need to buy some rocks to put in the bottom of them so they drain better but I got those two pots from HomeSense. I forgot to show you guys the plants in my room. So this is Betty. This is also a gift from my amazing friend Nicole. She, I normally take her and sit her in the windowsill there in the morning so she can get sunlight. I forgot today, Betty, I'm sorry. It's okay, so it's okay. Cash is my money tree, and Cash is definitely thriving here. I just moved this one in this new pot from HomeSense as well here, which I'm gonna have to repot, but I'm gonna wait a couple of days because this is a new placement. Originally had him or her, I'm not sure if all plants are hers, but I'm gonna call this one a him. He was in uh, the living room before, so just hanging out here now and gets the draft from the patio. So I hope you've enjoyed my little plant tour. I think I'm going to quickly work on potting my little herb garden, so we'll get to that. So this is another one of the pots from HomeSense, made in Vietnam, handmade, really nice. And I actually took some extra gravel and rocks from the succulent workshop today. I'm gonna put in the bottom there, just for drainage for them, proper drainage. Put the soil in and repot them. We'll see how many of the herbs I can fit in here. Here we are, planting with Zoe. So this is a bag of the things that I took from the succulent workshop today. It was super funny. Um, I was just taking everyone's leftover rocks. So I have like this white gravel, some decorative moss, but I don't know if we're gonna use that, and um, some pebbles. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start putting it in. So the reason why you put this in the bottom of the pot, as I mentioned, was for draining. So similar to like the succulent thing that we already did is when you water these plants, if there is no holes in the bottom here, they're gonna need some better way to drain out just so that it doesn't get moldy and gross in the bottom. So if there's rocks, there it just separates things a little bit and I, I suppose allows better absorption to happen. But I'm no like plant professional here. So yeah, we're just going with it. Which is like the closest thing I have right now in my house to a shovel. So I'm gonna go ahead and start scooping out some soil. Oops, already made a mess. Maybe it would be better if I just poured it. <laughs> All right, so it looks like this. I'm just gonna take out so the herbs that I for sure want in here, and I'm going to try to dust the soil off from their roots and pick where I want them in here, and then I'll fill it up with a little bit more soil. So I think right off the bat, I want rosemary in here because it is quite large. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pull it out. And I'll just put it at the back so you guys can see. Perfect, so it kind of looks like it's a bit level there. Next, um, I think I would like to do sage. So I'm gonna show you guys up close. So the roots are like all over it, so I, I wanna be gentle with them, but I also wanna like 
take off any excess soil because I want it to start to like the new soil. All of these are organic, by the way. I got them from a nursery up north. They just don't use any chemicals on the plants, so besides the pollution in Toronto, they should be pretty healthy. Stick that in there. Let's do basil. This one's a lot easier to dust off. There we go. I can smell them. So pretty. That in there. I think I'm gonna be able to fit the dill in as well. I've already been enjoying this one quite a bit. I love the taste of dill. I'm using it on avocado toast, which is nice. And plug it in. Perfect. I'm gonna go ahead now and fill in the gaps with soil. I'll bring you guys closer to check it out. I'm going to prepare some water for them. So I do have this special plant food for them that I got from the nursery. And this you just mix a few drops in the water and it just helps to feed them and give them everything that they need to grow nice and big and strong. So I'm just gonna show you how I put that together. The watering time. I hope you're thirsty plants. So I actually waited a few days and not, didn't water these guys because I knew I was going to be planting them. I did that just so that they would come out of their containers a lot easier. Which, by the way, I gotta figure out how I'm gonna clean that up. There we go. Not sure if you guys can hear Drake in the background, but someone's having a party. Summer is almost here. Yay, so I'm just gonna Keep dumping that around, trying to get every little bit in. Alrighty guys, so there is the gorgeous lavender, which hopefully will bloom soon, and our latest addition, the herbs. So I wanted to show you guys something magic. This here is a moisture meter. So this way you can never kill your plants because you can see it tells you how moist the soil is, if it's dry, and when you get plants and they come with those little peg things inside, they'll let you know if it's full sun, indoor, outdoor, and how moist the plants like the soil to be. So these ones, um, I think they like to be pretty moist, so this is why they're outside um, in the open air. And since I just watered them, so I think I probably will have to give them a little bit more water I'll definitely wait a little bit though because I had just planted them and just watered them, but there they are. Thanks for joining us today and planting with me and if you have any tips for me because I'm a new plant mom, let me know. But so far this is my favorite, favorite tool. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!